Hey there Gemini, welcome to your Withy Tarot reading for August 14th to the 20th. Let's jump in and see what's on the cards. Before we get started Gemini, if you wouldn't mind uh, hitting the like button, um, thinking about a comment to leave me, uh, maybe sharing the video and hitting subscribe. It is all engagement based here on YouTube and really that's what keeps the free content coming and allows content creators to, to do this. So that would be amazing. Uh, the links are down below in the description of the video for personal readings, learning tarot with me or to follow my socials and join my karmic community which is my email mailing list. Okay, let's uh, get your cards out starting with the Moonology Oracle deck here Gemini and I have emotions are running high, super moon energy. Now we are also still in the Lion's Gate um, energy at the moment and if you don't know what that is, that is where we have this unique portal of alignment between the star Sirius and the constellation of Orion Earth and the Sun and it activates the Leo energy which is often around having the strength, courage and determination to move forward in the direction of the heart, the heart's calling or something that you're really trying to manifest or bring through. Now um, if you were trying to do one of those things there could be emotions running high, okay? You might be about to take a faith leap, you know, you might be about to, you know, leap into some kind of purpose work or, you know, start or end a relationship, okay? It feels significant in that way. So Gemini, let's draw you a major arcana card. Now, if you know about tarot, these are the big themes, the big life lessons. So I wanna see which one uh, pertains to you in the situation where emotions are running high and I've got the chariot. Okay, well, look, this is a huge energy of forward movement and it is towards some kind of victory, okay? Um, as the chariot charioteer, Gemini, you've come to a conclusion that, you know, your true win um, is in a different situation than where you are currently, okay? Now that may mean, look, I'm needing to put myself out there in the world in a different way, or it may even mean that I'm needing to leave behind a situation like a relationship or like a job or a certain location. Now the thing about what you're leaving behind is that you know, there is a sense of home there, right? There is a sense of comfort, but in order for profound change and really achieving that life that we want, we must leave the known, we must leave the comfort zone. There really, you know, isn't usually a lot of transformation and change available if we don't shift something, shift our energy, shift our circumstances. So you need to make a, you know, a really clear and aligned decision here and that is what's going to propel your chariot forward. But if we're in two minds and we're not really sure, that's when it can turn around and, and go back where it came from or take the windy road and you really never get to that destination. So we've got emotions are running high about powerful forward movement because you are clear that you're not getting the victory that you want in your current situation. All right, let's get the cards out. We're drawing four cards from the right away to explore the situation. I will then be clarifying with the Star Child Tarot. So we'll get them out, but I'll tell you what they are as we go. Yeah, hanged man kind of in reverse, but hanged man energy in the situation. So you know, you, you have been feeling a bit stuck here and you've been waiting for, yeah, you've been feeling a bit stuck and you're waiting for that clarity and guidance of like, how do I actually, you know, go about this? You know, how do I actually move forward? Because when we're making big life changes, then, you know, generally there is no easy, right? And that's part of the challenge is like, okay, well, I'm going to have to make sacrifices, compromises, and all of that jazz. Okay, yeah, I've been saying that a lot lately, all that jazz. It's one of my sort of dorky sayings, but forgive me. Okay, right, let's get the clarifiers out and then I am gonna read this. Actually, I'll, I'll pull these as I go. Okay, um, amazing energy here. You know, obviously we've got the star in the reading and we've got two Aquarian cards with the star and the King of Swords and we have one Cancer card with the Chariot. Now, just tuning into this Aquarius energy, Age of Aquarius, what does that even mean? Well, we are going through a profound shift, and if I kind of move, uh, zoom out into a little bit into the cosmic spiritual for a moment, uh, we're going through a profound shift on this earth at the moment, and you can see that things are heating up, emotions are running high, because we have a lot of things going on, we have a lot of 
um, the shadow coming up, the collective shadow at the moment. And really that is because the energetic shift is trying to move us towards a place of love and towards a place of harmony and towards a place of awakening. And in the throes of that, the shadow will always come up. Now you are also being moved, Gemini, towards your purpose, the star, and where you are meant to be in your life, which in turn can bring up your own shadow, which might be, you know, the pushback to staying in the known or, you know, the insecurities and fears that naturally arise to try and keep us where we are. So we've got realignment to life purpose, life plan, which is in larger alignment with the energetic conditions that we have moving into this age of Aquarius, okay? And really things are going to shift in this planet when we reach that tipping point of more people, you know, being in alignment with with that divine energy than not. And we are getting there. Okay, so that's the zoom out. Let's zoom back into your specific circumstance. So uh, at the moment, you are in the hanged man energy, which is somebody who's like, yeah, yeah, you know what, well, I'll notice that sounds really good, but I'm here right now, you know, and this can be the feeling of being stuck or things stagnating in your life and not really knowing how to even take that first step. Well, I actually think that the answers are coming and slowly but surely you're getting these signs like you might have started seeing 1111, which really means you're manifesting really powerfully and in Lionsgate, yes, you will be. Um, you know, or maybe 555, which for me is that number of profound uh, change and expansion. So you've been in this energy here. Now, what I want to say about the hanged man is that it's the energy Gemini that comes before the death energy in the sequencing of the major arcana. And that is all about release. And we do not open a new door or get in a chariot and move forward without letting go or moving away from something else, right? It's just that kind of law of energetics. So it feels like there's a situation that is in its winter, right? It's not giving you the growth, whether it's this career or whether it's a relationship. So really the hanged man is a journey of the grieving process through to acceptance where we realize that we do need to sacrifice, we do need to release and we do need to surrender in order to get onto the new path, in order to get the new level of growth, right, that is leading us and guiding us to our best and highest good on our life plan. So there's something to let go of. Now, we've got temperance coming through, and it's a Sagittarian energy. This might deal with a Sagittarius potentially moving away from a Sagittarius, or the temperance energy is alluding to the fact that there is a bit of a divine sweet spot here. I always say that with this card because it's temperance, right? Think about tempering chocolate if you know what that is. It's like heating it to the perfect temperature that when you cool it, it gets all beautiful and glossy and makes that perfect snap, okay, uh, when, you, when you break it. And when I see the temperance card, it's like you have reached your sweet spot for this change. Now, it might not feel like it because this is more of an energetic potential here, but Spirit is saying, this is the time to move forward and perhaps you've wanted change for a while but you know you haven't been able to take action on it well here we go this is also my energy of a bit of a divine hand at work in your life here um, you may be getting signs or feeling that pull or feeling that call especially around Lionsgate so that's what we have we have a powerful call forward to finally you know take the plunge on something that you've wanted to for a while whether it's moving towards a purpose call or moving away from something that you're very clear is not on purpose for you. Now all locked up in the challenge position is the Eight of Swords Gemini with the Three of Cups. Interesting. So the Eight of Swords is where the mind holds us back because when those fears and insecurities start arising, they arise as thoughts, right? They arise as thoughts that then become emotions, energy in motion in the body, and then they make us feel a certain way, and then we go, well, maybe it's better if I stay where I am because the emotion can be strong. Now, the Eight of Swords is often the worst case scenario, thinking, you know, well, what if it doesn't work out? Maybe I'm better off just staying where I am, you know? But what is being sacrificed is the Three of Cups, growth, joy, genuine love and happiness. 
and you might be staying in this job or relationship or whatever it is because of reasons of maybe guilt or moral obligation you know I signed this contract or I committed to this and gosh I'm gonna you know I'm gonna be my word now it's great to have integrity integrity to your word Gemini but not at the cost of growth and happiness that's when we know that there's a lesson actually in, in maybe knowing when it's time to to move on right because you're growing and evolving so you're not the same person as when you chose this in the first place so the star, the star is the advice, and I'll show you that card in a sec. I'm just going to get the clarifier. Oh, that's so interesting. The reason why I said I want to show you the card is because I see here how this person and the star is tipping out the, the two of cups, and then I have the two of cups here, and the two of cups for me is partnership. We are letting go of a partnership, whether it's a romantic relationship or partnering with an organization, there's something to send back to the earth here, okay? That's what I'm feeling. So that the reason why I'm hiding this card is because it's got nudity on it. And I, sorry, it's a sideline. I saw in one, one of my other um, favorite tarot readers here on YouTube, you probably know who it is, who drew clothes on them all because it was getting flagged in the you know, by the, you know, the, the YouTube robots. I'm sorry, but I just think that's so ridiculous. I refuse to do it at the stage, but we'll see. We'll see if there comes a time, so I'll hide it for now. Maybe I should refuse to do that as well. I don't know. Okay, so crazy world, crazy world. So here we have you being called towards the star through letting go or releasing some kind of partnership here, right? Now, also the Two of Cups for me has a reference to following the call of the heart and the intuition and leaping forward. So you obviously have a feeling that it's time maybe to take this transition. And remember, there is a divine sweet spot here. Stars are aligning for you or a path is illuminating at the moment, you might only be able to see a little bit of it Gemini, but generally when we take the first step, then the rest of it reveals. So the end of the reading, the outcome, King of Swords, is you, Gemini, in your king energy, gender in specific, um, you know, really making mature decisions for yourself, mature emotionally intelligent decisions from a place of yes a place of intellect but also a place of heart yeah two of swords at this junction point that you have found yourself in in your life so the two of swords is like i realize that i'm all tied up in a stalemate at the moment this is the time to make this decision for my best and highest good i'm feeling the divine sweet spot and maybe there's been an opportunity that has arisen or a catalyst for change because at the start of this reading I talked about the chariot and I said that you know the the really the only place that we can get growth and new opportunity is by stepping beyond where we know and leaving behind you know that sense of home and where we are right and um oh my goodness I've lost my train of thought and um what was I going to say? Yeah, so leaving behind that sense of comfort, right? And I have no idea what I was going to say, so <laughs> this is embarrassing. <laughs> um, okay, we'll scrap that. So leaving behind that sense of comfort and moving forward in that new direction that you really, really feel is going to be the best for you, okay? Now, the Two of Swords does ask you to use that mind and use that intellect, but it's very important to search within the soul and within the heart as well, okay? That's where we really make the best decisions for ourselves to, King of Swords, transform our reality. I wish I could remember that point. I was watching actually something, uh, Russell Brand, I don't know if you're a fan or not, Gemini, but I was watching a really good um, interview with him last night on Diary of a CEO, and he was talking about, uh, talking about this concept of, uh, you know, I've got, <laughs> sorry, that, you know, we, we really need to leave, like, it's like leaving the nest, like how can we ever know the world if we never leave home, how can we ever really grow and expand if we don't take leaps of faith or put ourselves out there and back ourselves, but 
usually for most people when I talked about the change catalyst it comes to a point of crisis before people will actually move themselves but when we start moving into awareness right really into alignment and we are just big tuning forks Gemini like we are feeling into energies all the time what we can do is know when it's time for the divine sweet spot of change without reaching a crisis point which would be a tower moment which moves us when it's our final option it's you know there's no other way to go we've completely exhausted the situation or there is a natural implosion point so the king of swords here is saying that you have the ability now to make that move for yourself towards some kind of very very divine outcome which is the next step the next significant stage on your life plan but yes of course emotions are running high but just remember that is just energy in motion these are just chemical reactions within your body and this is the perfect time for you to make a move forward to claim that victory to get back to the joy to get back to the growth and enter in to your next spring and summer from the winter where you are currently so that's what I have for you Gemini sorry about losing my train of thought it doesn't happen very often but yeah I'm not feeling entirely the best today so that is why um, please like share comment and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already I would really appreciate that and links down below for personal readings should you want to tune into your specific circumstances um, or follow along on Instagram I'm doing heaps over there um, daily energy readings and different types of videos where I'm talking about some more of my journey you know angel numbers uh, spiritual